సభాయ నమ అవర్ మదర్ ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా రియల్లీ ఫార్చునేట్ టు హ్యావ్ ద ఫుడ్ ప్రింట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేట్ రివర్డ్ సైన్స్ లైక్ ఆదిశంకరాచార్య రామానుజాచార్య వల్లభాచార్య ఎట్సెట్రా గ్రేట్ సీడ్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఈజ్ సాంటిఫైడ్ వెరీ మచ్ దట్స్ వై వీఆర్ రియల్లీ ఫార్చునేట్ టు లివ్ ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ బికాస్ సో మెనీ గ్రేట్ సీడ్స్ మీన్ సైజెస్ సర్వ్డ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ దెమ్ సెల్స్ ఫర్ ది సేక్ ఆఫ్ ది future generations like us among them we can never forget the great revered swami adi shankaracharya because he was a man of sanctified and lived only for 32 years in his 32 years itself he Uh, wandered every part of india from kashi to kanyakumari on foot is really wonder on the way he established four mats and he wrote nearly 108 stotra granthas four commentaries on brahma sutra upanishads bhagavad gita also vishnu sahasranama so what a fantastic uh, the seed we had especially he entered in this earth while there was the dominant principles were maintained by buddhism they follow dharma and principles but they never accept idol worship at this juncture adi shankaracharya born kerala kaurdi village he was considered the incarnation of lord shiva himself therefore even 32 years of his life span he created many wonders wrote many works and gave so many debates speeches while he was going on the food to from kashi to kanyakumari on the way he met each and every one and preached about our sanatana dharma see how great is really he made us to raise our head in other countries by bringing forth our tradition and culture is greater than any other culture on this earth therefore we are really indebted to the acharya shankara as he expected the same principles or customs to be observed by us mean our generation continuously without any break let us hope to follow his principles especially he is a founder of advaita philosophy so now onwards after watching this video i think most of you may understand the essence of adi shankaracharya's preachings especially the stotra is called dakshina murti today i chose the subject dakshina murti and his stotra let us see it start with the prayer guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha bhagavan's role in this world can be discovered in his association with dakshina murti the manifestation of shiva as a supreme lord a supreme teacher during his early days of arunachala bhagavan said that he discovered a secret place on the north side of the hill where 
lay scheduled or secluded banyan tree. It was here he was stung by bees for intruding on this sacred site. The first substantial historical record about Dakshinamurti is in Sutta Samhita of Skanda Purana. It is believed that Adi Shankaracharya studied this Sutta Samhita 18 times before composing his Brahma Sutra Bhashya. Perhaps it was Shankara's familiarity with this text which eventually inspiration to compose the profound Sri Dakshinamurti Stotram. There is also Dakshinamurti Upanishad as a part of Krishna Yajurvedam but some scholars regard it as a late interpolation into the canon. Adi Shankara always sits under banyan tree. There is a further esoteric meaning. Dakshinamurti is a effulgent self as revealed by Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. Dakshinamurti is experienced on the right side and yet he is formless. And that is limitless also. Dakshinamurti is a very form of awareness. We find this interpretation in Dakshinamurti Upanishad. Bhagavan Ramana, he mentioned a direct reference to Dakshinamurti in verse 2 of Sri Arunachala Ashtakam. Now let us see magnanimity of Dakshinamurti. Dakshinamurti is an aspect of Hindu god Shiva as a guru of all types of knowledge. This aspect of Lord Shiva connected to Paramaguru is his personification as the supreme or the ultimate awareness, understanding and knowledge. This form represents Shiva as a teacher of yoga, music and wisdom and giving exposition as a god of wisdom, complete and regarding meditation. As per scriptures, if a person does not have a Parama Guru, then they can thus uh, consider and worship Lord Dakshinamurti as their Guru. See, catch the point. Eventually, they will be Dakshinamurti literally means one who is facing south. According to another school of thought, Dakshinya means Karuna in Sanskrit or kindness. So this manifestation of Shiva is benevolent teacher who accords wisdom to seekers of salvation, mean moksha. In every Shiva temple, the stone image of Dashnamurti is installed, especially facing south direction on the southern sarkamambulatory, sarkamambulation means pradakshina in English called sarkamambulation path around the sanctum sanctorum me mulavirat perhaps all hindu gods he is only one sitting facing south we cannot say any other god except dakshinamurti the name itself is there he sits on south facing let us depict him in the aspect of jnana dakshinamurti shiva is generally shown with four arms he is depicted seated under a banyan tree facing the south. Shiva is seated upon a deer throne and surrounded by sages who are receiving his instructions. He is shown as seated with his right foot on mythical apasmara, uh, which according to Hindu mythology is a personification of ignorance and his left foot lies folded on his lap. Sometimes even the wild animals are depicted to surround Lord Shiva. In his upper arms he holds a snake or a rosary or both in one hand and a flame in another. While in his lower hand, right hand he is shown with Vyakhyana Mudra. His lower left hand holds a bundle of Kusa grass or the scriptures. The index finger of his right hand is bent and touching the tip of his thumb. The other three fingers are stretched apart. This is called Jnana Mudra. A symbol of knowledge is called wisdom. Sometimes 
This hand is in Abhaya Mudra, a posture of assurance and blessing to his devotees. In Mela Kadambur, the statue of Dachinamurti appears seated on a bull under a banyan tree with a hole extending from uh, one ear to other. Let us see his mantras or hymns. There are many mantras dedicated to Lord Dachinamurti. He is prayed for protection and overall well being as well as for success in education. Dakshinamurti Gayatri Mantra Om Vrushabhadvajaya Vidmahe Grunihastaya Dhimahe Tanno Dakshinamurti Prachodayat Yoga Dakshinamurti is an aspect of Shiva as a Guru of Yoga. A representation, let us see. In his respect, aspect, as Yoga Dakshinamurti, Shiva is generally represented in any of two styles described as one. He is represented sitting in Padmasana posture and engrossed in meditation. He is shown as having four arms. His four arms are depicted in different ways. In the upper right hand, he holds a trident, I mean, the shula. He carries a bowl of human skull in his upper left hand. The lower right hand is shown in chin mudra and the lower left hand is raised to his chest. Another. In another representation, he is shown on sitting under a banyan tree. His one leg rests on the ground, the help of yoga patta. His forearms are shown in different ways. He carries an akshamala in his upper right hand. The upper left hand is shown with uh, carrying fire. The lower right hand is depicted in Dhyana Mudra. And the lower left hand is shown in Abhaya Mudra. Below his seat, two Ds are shown squatting and a cobra uh, wound around his right arm looks forward him. Let us see some highlights of temple in India about Dakshinamurti. Shri Dakshinamurti Temple at uh, Sukapuram, uh, Edapal Taluk in Malapuram District, Kerala. Uh, Pratishta was done by Sukha Maharshi, the son of Vyasa. Uh, estimated around 1500 years old. Another, yet to Manur Mahadeva Temple in Kerala, where the deity shrine in the form of Shivalingam is uh, considered as Dakshinamurti. Another, Alangudi, Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. Another, in the Siva Nateshwara Temple in Tirupanthurai, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu, he is depicted in the Aradhanai form. Padma Dakshinamurti is uh, Chibavananda Ashramam in Teni, Western Tamil Nadu. Another, the oldest Dakshinamurti temple is situated in Pudotam village at Thiruvaru, Tamil Nadu. It is estimated that this temple nearly 1000 years old. Dakshinamurti, let us come to Dakshinamurti Stotra. So far we understood how Dakshinamurti formed and what are the uh, representations we can get from his idol of worship. Now let us go for Dakshinamurti Stotra with English explanation. Gurave Sarva Lokanam Vishaje Bhavaroginam Nidaye Sarva Vidyana Dachina Murtaye Namaha. Okay. Now we can come to know the Lord of Dachina Murti Stotra and meaning in detailed form. See, first shloka. Upasaka nam yadupasaniyam utpata vasam vatashaki muli. Taddamadachinya jushaswa murtya jagartu chitte mamapotharupam. May that supreme spirit that has taken its abode under the banyan tree, taking an anthropomorphic, mean human like form, facing south as an act of great superiority and which is the object of meditation for the devotees, remain of meditation in my mind activizing my intellect. Dakshinamurti is one of the radiant human forms which Lord Shiva, the Supreme Spirit, takes out 
of his infinite mercy mean dakshinya to uplift the right soul from bondage the banyan under the banyan tree which he is seated characterizes the microcosm mean example in the tiny seed of the tree and vast expanse of his branches leaves and roots that revolves from it respectively thereby illustrating how the universe evolves but uh, once the supreme spirit spirit who willed in the upanishad words bhashyam or uh, bhashyam in what bahushyam may i multiply bahushyam the banyan tree which outlines several other living species uh, too stands for the eternality associated with the supreme the devotees who meditate on him have their consciousness uh, illuminated and experience bliss the dakshina murti is none other than sachidananda another shloka adraksha makshina daya nidanam acharya madhyam vata mula bhagi maune namand smita bhushite na Maharshi Lokasya Tamo Nudantam I beheld under the banyan tree of Jagat Guru the respectable of undiminished compassion driving away the darkness of ignorance of great sages by mere silence that is adorned by a gentle smile Chidas Nandam Chiru Bhasam Adi Shankara recounts his experience in beholding the graceful form of the Shna Murti, who, as a true guru, a term which merely instrumental is drawing out of the inherent powers of the soul. The mere presence of the supreme in this being form of a guru would suffice to efface the ignorance of the soul and lead the flame of true knowledge at least to liberation. Third sloka. विद्राताशेषतमो गणेन मुद्रा विशेषेण मुहुर्नाद मयां दयया विधत्ते देव महांतमसी बोधम द ग्रेट लॉर्ड एंड डोड एस हीज विथ कंपैशन ड्रो अवे ऑफ एंड एंड ऑन क्वालिटी ऑफ इग्नोरेंस ऑफ द सेजेस इज डेली by his ignana mudra and the destroyed their illiteracy and assured in the profound knowledge that you are tattva masi the power of maya is such that the thick veil of ignorance has got to be stormed more than once before it is eradicated the truth of maha kavya dawns on a person only when the lord out of his abundant grace enables him to perceive it the chin mudra is an index of this grace it is also taken to signify non duality of jiva and ishwara represented by the joining of the thumb and four finger the two together stand for the pure consciousness the mudra that enables one to comprehend this truth is therefore called chin mudra another shloka अपार कारुण्य सुरातरंग अपांग पातरवलोकय कठोर संसार निदागत मुनीन हम नौमि गुरु गुरूण ऐ आफर मै अबेसेंस टू दट प्रसप्टर ऑफ प्रसप्टर्स हू बै हिस् अम्रोसियल ग्लैंसेस अमृत छूपलु marked by unlimited grace was looking at the sages afflicted by the intense heat of that fears and misery of worldly existence dakshinamurti is a path finder and arch preceptor in disseminating true knowledge to the successive acharyas that walked on the globe he is therefore the adi guru the only way in which a guru can transmit right knowledge to his disciple in kindness and compassion as an ideal guru dakshinamurti sets an example his gleaming eyes shed nectar that soothes the intense sufferings of the aspirants uh, the healing touch works miracles the sweltering heat of sansara is no more 
the cool breeze of ananda has begun to blow in the mind of sages see another shloka mamadya devu vat mula vasi krupa visheshat krita sannidhana ओंकार रूपदेश फर्स्ट लॉर्ड ज्वेलिंग एट द फूट ऑफ बैनियन ट्री आउट ऑफ डिवाइन मेरसी अप्यो बिफोर मी ऑफर इंस्ट्रक्शन इन दि मिस्टिक लोड ओ एंड डिस्पेल द डॉक्टर्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस अनदर श्लोका कलाबिंदूरीव कलता मुक्ता कला पैरीव बद्धमूर्ति आलोक ये देशिकेय अनाद्य विद्यार प्रभात ई बिहोल विथ मई कंप्रहसीबल फॉर्म ऑफ दि डिवाइन प्रसट A veritable dawn that dispels the beginningless darkness of simplicity, a form that appears to be made as though with the digits of the moon or perhaps with a collection of pearls. Again, the blessed Acharya rejoices in the divine vision that was vouchsafed to him by the Adi Guru, the white sheen of brilliance of the vision that divine form is. fancied by the poet philosopher as being fashioned out of the white digits of the moon and collection of white pearls not satisfied with these fancies he draws a metaphor picturizing uh, the radiant dakshina murti as a dawn that drives away the darkness another shloka swadaksha janu stita vam appadam padodara alankrita yoga pat तम अपस्मृते दाहित पाद मंगे प्रणव मिदेवम प्रणिधान वंतम आई एडोर द लॉर्ड इन हिज मेडिटेटिव एस्पेक्ट हुज लेफ्ट फुट इज प्लेस्ड ऑन हिज राइट थाई हु वेयर्स अ योगा वस्त्र एडॉन्ड बाय अ सर्पेंट एंड हु हैड हिज राइट फुट प्लेस्ड ओवर द बॉडी ऑफ अपस्मार पुरुषा The apasmara purusha represents the evil literacy, or evil illiteracy that is stamped out by the land. In this connection, we may recall Dhyana Shloka, a Sri Dakshina Murti Upanishad, which seeks to confer on the meditator freedom from simplicity. So, another shloka. Tatva ardhamante vasatam rushi nam. युवापियुपदेष्टुमीष्ठे प्रणवित प्राक्तन पुण्यजाल आचार्यश्चर्य गुणाधिवास ट्रू नॉलेज वुड अरइज ओनली वेन दर ईज एडस्टनेस एंड कंपटेंस बोथ द टीचर एंड दि टाट टाट फिन डिसेपल Here the sages Brahma Vedins are the disciples and of Lord Shiva in his youthful aspect of the Shna Muti is a guru. The former are the Ante Vajna who dwell in the residence of the guru under the banyan tree, and the latter who is anxious to teach them is himself the very embodiment of consciousness who leads his devotees to the realization of consciousness. See another shloka. एक मुद्रा परशुंकण करेण चान्येन मृगम ददान स्वजास्तकुरस्ताथ आचार्य चूड़ा मणिरा विरस्तु मे द क्रस्ट जुबल अमाउंट द प्रसप्टर्स होल्स वन ऑफ हिज हैंड्स इन चिन्ह मुद्रा फोर्स होल्स इन अनदर एन एक्स Ayni at another a deer and keeps the fourth hand on his thigh, present himself before. The chin mudra indicates that he is the be all and end all of knowledge per excellence. The axe stands for his skill in destroying ignorance. The deer held in his hand is suggestive of his control of the senses as a master of yogin. Another shloka. 
ಆಲೋಪವಂತ ಮದನಾಂಗಭೂತ್ಯ ಶಾರ್ದೂಲಕೃತ್ಯಾಪರಿಧಾನವಂತ ಆಲೋಕೇ ಕಂಚನ ಕದೇಶಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಅಜ್ಞಾನವಾರಾಕರ ಪಾಡನ ಪಾಗ್ನ್ಯ ಐ ಬಿಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಬ್ರೈನ್ ಫೈ ದ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸೀ ಹಿಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯೂಪಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ಸಹಾಯಡ್ ಅನದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಚಾರುಸ್ಮಿತ ಸೋಮಕಲಾಪತ ವೀಣಾದರಂ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಉಪಾಸತೆ ಕೇಚನ ಯೋಗಿನ ಉಪಾತನಾದುಭವ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಓಲಿ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ಎಮಾಂಗ್ ದ ಯೋಗಿನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಟನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇವಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಥ್ರೆಸಸ್ ವ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಜುವೆಲ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ ಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ವೀಣಾ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಾನ್ ಜಾಯ್ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆದಿಶಂಕರ ಕಂಜೂರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಆರ್ ವಿನಾಯನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೀಣಾಧರ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಬೈ ಫ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ವಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೋಚ್ ಸೇಫ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಪಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಯಮೇವ ಯೇಷ ವೃಣತೆ ತೇನ ಲಭ್ಯ ತಸ್ಯೇಷ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿರುಣತೆ ತನಂ ಸ್ವಾಂ ಅನದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಉಪಾಸತೆಯ ಶುಕಾದ್ಯ ನಿರಾಶಿಶೋ ನಿರ್ಮತಾಧಿವಾಸ ತಂ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ತನು ಮಹೇಶ ಉಪಾಸ್ಮಹೇ ಮೋಹ ಮಹಾರ್ತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಐ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ವಿತ್ ಎ ವ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅಪ್ಟೈನ್ ದ ಪೀಸ್ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಡೆಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ it is that very form which was mediated upon by sages shuka and others who are free from attachment and a sense of possession people of ordinary type generally pray for the wealth health fame etc <coughs> but an ideal aspirant like shuka will seek nothing of a mundane nature for himself being free from sense of i and mine our acharya following the footsteps of shuka seeks peace and the consequent bliss and of that shows the way to us to follow now another shloka kantya nindita kunda kandala vapur nyagroda mule vasan karunya amruta vare virmuni janam ಸಂಭಾವಯನ್ ವೀಕ್ಷಿತ ಮೋಹದ್ವಾಂತ ವಿಭೇದನ ವಿರಚಯನ್ ಬೋಧೇನ ತದೃಶ ದೇವಸ್ತತ್ವಮಸೀತಿ ಬೋಧಯ ಮುದ್ರಾವತ ಪಾಣಿನ ಮೇ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಚಿನ್ ಮುದ್ರಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಬಾಡಿ that surpasses in luster the jasmine flower swaying under a banyan tree gracing the sages with looks that exude nectar to compassion break and sunder the darkness of delusion and instruct me in that supreme truth embedded in the scriptural text that you are ta tvam asi the acharya prays for the grace of adi guru to impact the important of the mahavakya which proclaims the non duality of the brahman and jiva once this advaita knowledge received the veil of advaita it consider to uh, wash away avidya is sundered and there is no more the cycle of births and deaths in this version of transmigratory existence ಅಗೌರಗಾತ್ರೀಲಾಟನೇತ್ರೀಯಶಾಂತೇಶೈರಭುಜಂಗಭೂಷೈ ಅಬೋಧ ಮೂತ್ರೀರನ ಪಾ
who is not clear in appearance, who does not wear the jewel of serpent, who does not show the chin mudra, who has not abundant sleep, and who has not his will fulfilled. Daivata nikati santi chavano, naivata nimanaso mata nime, dechitam jadadhiya manugrahe, dachina bimukame vatai matam. I, many indeed are the gods on this earth, but none of them are the agreeable to my mind. The only God I adore is the one with his face turned to south, who has resort to extend his grace to the dullard. Muditaya mukta shashinavatam sine, basita vale paramaniya murtaye. Jagadindra Jalar Chanapati Yase Mahase Namos Tuvatamula Vasini Obeisance to the great God dwelling under the banyan tree filled with joy, wearing the digit of the moon as a crest jewel and bearing a form pleasing with the holy ash uh, smeared over it. He is indeed an adept in creating this magic show of this enchanting world. Vyalambini bihi parito jatta bhi kala vashe shena kala dharena pashyan lalla tena mukendu nacha prakasha se cheta sinir malanam you with the long matted tresses hanging around your face adorned with the digits of the moon that is not full, an eye on the forehead and a face that is beautiful like the full moon shine in the minds of men purity. Upasaka nam tvamumasahaya purnendra bhavam prakati karoshi yadadyate darshana matra tomi Dravatya Humana Sachandra Kantaha You with Uma as your consort reveal to your devotees the nature of full moon. For now I have vision of you. That vision makes my mind melt as though it is moonstone. Yate Prasanna Manusandadano Murtim Mudamuk Dashashanka Maulehi Aishwarya Mayur Labateja Vidyam Amteja Vedanta Maharasyam Last Sloka. Those who constantly meditate with the great exaltation on your form with a head marked by the digit of the moon will obtain prosperity, longevity of life, true knowledge, and ultimately, the great secret of Vedanta. In this way, Dakshinamurti Stotra gives great opportunity to get all prosperities. Let us hope to get good. Sriya Kantaya Kalyanana Denide Dram Shri Venkata Nivasaya Shri Nivasaya Mangalam Mangala Ashashana Pare Madachari Prokamai Hisarvesha Burvai Rachari Satruta Yas Tumangalam